Good afternoon. Hey, this is Dr. Bill Christenberry at Caldwell Male Animal Clinic. And one of the questions that we get here at the clinic a lot is about their, our pet's ears. Uh, problems with the ears when they get dirty, uh, when the pet's shaking their head, scratching, they smell. Uh, a lot of people assume this is ear mites, and sometimes it is, but ear mites are usually more of a young uh, kitten or puppy problem that they get a lot of times when they're sheltered together, exposed to the environment uh, because their immune systems are immature and so those ear mites tend to have a chance to set up shop in the ears and, uh, and those are relatively easily treated with a, a medication to uh, kill the mites, a parasiticide. Uh, but in adult uh, pets, uh, most of the issues that we deal with are infections. Um, and I would say that probably in my experience, probably 60 to 70% of those infections are yeast infections. Uh, yeast is um, an environmental uh, pathogen that's in the soil. It's just everywhere. It's out there. And uh, dogs especially, their ears are just great environments to allow those yeast and the bacteria to grow. There's a little bit of wax in there, which the yeast and the bacteria can live off of and then it's dark down in there, down in the ear canal, and it stays a little bit moist, a little bit damp, especially for dogs that swim and whatnot. So those pathogens, the yeast and the bacteria, it's just a great place for them to grow. Uh, and then you throw in there dogs and cats that have allergies, uh, so their ear canals are a little bit inflamed, a little bit irritated already, and that gives an opening for those uh, pathogens to to get in there and to cause issues. And so when they do and you get an infection in there, it does cause the odor, it causes the irritation, the itching. Um, and so uh, we have to deal with that. We try to deal with the um, inciting causes, which as I said, can be allergies. It can also be anatomical, uh, meaning um, uh, your dogs, cats don't really have them, but dogs that have pendulous ears, uh, that are heavy and have a lot of hair, like a Cocker Spaniel, Springer Spaniel, um, Labs, Golden Retrievers have pendulous ears, and they tend to be swimming dogs too. And so uh, when that ear flap is hanging over, it prevents light and air to get into the ear canal. And so that sets up a, an environment for those infections to get going. So I'm um, talking about anatomical, and this is a sort of a cutaway view of the um, of a dog's ear and this uh, model actually has an erect ear um, showing that but it just helps to show the anatomy of the ear a little bit better but this is as I said is a cutaway view of the ear canal and so you know the you can see these little folds that dogs have in their uh, outer ear the penna it's called and then you've got the ear canal and a dog's ear canal is different from not from ours has a vertical ear, ear canal and then it has a horizontal ear canal. So it goes down and then it takes a pretty hard turn in uh, internally. Um, I think this is a defense mechanism that God gave dogs so if they're running around something goes in there it's not going to uh, penetrate the eardrum because here is where the eardrum lies in this model. So you see it's way down and so something would have to go in and take a hard turn like if it was a stick or something and basically break itself to get there to puncture the eardrum. So um, I tell people you know if you're trying to clean the ears you're not going to damage the eardrum but we still don't recommend putting a q-tip or something down in there because even though you can't damage the ear, eardrum you still can pack wax and debris down in there and that's not good so flushing is the is the best way to clean out an ear just like they usually tell people is that you put ear flush down in there and then a dog you put one finger over the top of the ear ear and one on the side and then you squeeze that this is all cartilage here so it's sort of soft and so you can squeeze it and you get that mechanical action and movement of the of the ear flush that you've put down in there and that helps to break up the wax and to clean the ear out and then you can swab out the excess and that's the best way to clean out the ears and to put medication in there as well and um, and that's what we do uh, most of the time when we uh, we encounter an infection we'll either send home medication that you can put in the ear canal ear canal to kill the infection uh, or uh, we have uh, newer products now that are, are more of an um, 
a packing. There's sort of like a heavy paste that's impregnated with the medication that you put into the ear canal and you leave it. And that's a lot better um, as far as um, compliance because you don't have to worry about remembering to do it, catching the dog or the cat and putting the medication in there yourself uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. So, um, so that's uh, sort of our breakdown on ear treatment infections. There's a lot more to know about that and we would love to answer those questions that you have about uh, ear infections, ear mites, problems uh, with your pet's ears. So give us a call at Caldwell Mill Animal Clinic and we would love to discuss those things with you. And thanks for listening and we'll see you next time.